Hi, everybody. Andy here. Welcome to Get Real with Andy. Today's topic is expectations. You know, you've heard that saying, go into it, have no expectations, because that way you won't be disappointed. Great expectations lead to great disappointment. Having no expectations means that you'll be more open to what is rather than what you anticipate or wish for. Most expectations are really based on past experience, right? If I have no past experience about something and I go into some new venture, I really have no expectations about it unless I have some kind of an imagination. But most of the time, imagination for future events is based on past experience. So there is an upside to having no expectations. There's certainly a downside to having expectations. Expectations can be based on stereotypes or stereotypical beliefs, like, you know, all Asians are great in math. Oh man, that's quite a trip to lay on somebody. It's, it's just not fair. Is it is it helpful to the person? Is it helpful to me to think like that and to have expectations? Expectations really are built on beliefs that I have. And, you know, not all the beliefs that I have are good or helpful. So in that way, having no expectations is, is good. But is there a time where having expectations is a good thing? And I say, yes, that when my expectations are based on my values, I expect to be treated fairly. I expect my friends to tell me the truth. I expect my partner and my family to care about me. These are expectations that are still beliefs, and they do exert a kind of pressure on the present moment. But I'm calling that kind of an expectation positive pressure. If I expect my child to tell me the truth, and they know that I expect that, and even if they don't want to disappoint me, and they do tell the truth, it will cultivate the habit of telling the truth. And that is a good expectation to have of somebody. So to recap, expectations that are based on limiting beliefs have a limiting effect on current reality and will set me up for disappointment. But expectations that are based on my values often end up exerting a kind of positive pressure on the current situation and the people that I'm with. And that's a good thing. Okay, thank you.